RoboCop 2 4K Collector's Edition. Let's review this one. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob, this is the Movie Vault. We're gonna talk about movies as always. RoboCop 2, Scream Factory 4K Ultra HD Collector's Edition, guys, 4K and Blu-ray. It comes with this slip cover, so you have this RoboCop 2 artwork. I am not familiar with this artwork. I think one thing that's missing on the packaging artwork here is inner sleeve, I thought could have been reversible, would have been interesting because the disc artwork, this is the RoboCop 2 artwork I'm familiar with where he's kind of coming through the brick wall. It would have been nice to have this reversible sleeve art. Let's break it down. We're gonna talk about audio first and foremost. Okay guys, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 surround mix on RoboCop 2 here. There are two audio commentaries included on the 4K disc. You also have a brand new two channel stereo. I think it's called like MGM mix or something like that. It's something kind of weird. There's also a DTS HD Master Audio two channel laser disc stereo mix, which is really, really interesting. I don't have Robocop 2 on laser disc, but they taught so much of the audio that it was included as uh, one of the audio features here guys action sequences sound fantastic in the 5.1 mix and uh, no complaints from me or there was on the sound on robocop 2. how does it look guys picture quality let's get into this one right now 4k scan of the original camera negative which is a massive thumbs up as always guys it's a 2160p 4k ultra hd disc with dolby vision included on this one the grain structure is in there and it looks really, really nice, guys. I do like it, looks fantastic. Color grade, I thought was brilliant on Robocop 2 here, guys. Reds and blues, as you would kind of think, do look really, really good in the color grade. There's a couple of soft focus shots in the opening few minutes of the movie and it's just how it was shot. You know, there's no point in changing that now or, you know, I'm sure they could do some kind of weird AI thing, but who wants that, guys, right? Leave it alone leave it as it was. Overall, I'm really happy with the picture quality of RoboCop 2. Let's jump into the bonus features, guys. There is around 140 plus minutes of bonus features, so over two hours of bonus features. They are not on the 4K disc. You have the audio commentaries on the 4K disc, but all the other bonus features are on the included Blu-ray disc, which I just want to point out is a Region A Blu-ray because they imported this from the States. So just be aware if you're gonna grab that off of Amazon. Guys, there is what seems to be like a new making of featurette, 32 minutes long. There is the FX of Robocop 2, another 32 minute featurette. Robo Fabricator, the designer of Robocop 2, nine minutes long. There's about 45 minutes of featurette. It's called OCP Declassified, which seems to be archival kind of interviews with uh, cast and crew, that kind of thing. Adapting Frank Miller's Robocop 2 is a little six minute featurette on the script that Frank Miller wrote for Robocop 2. Five minutes of trailers, you have different photo galleries which play as a slideshow that run 12 minutes all in all rounding up the bonus features in Robocop 2, which is really, really good stuff, guys, because I'm upgrading Robocop 2 from an old DVD. Few thoughts on the movie here, rewatching Robocop 2, guys, I have not watched it in an age. I love the TV spots, uh, the adverts throughout the movie. They're really, really funny. The wife stalking at the start of the movie was a little bit weird, went a little bit dark with Robocop 2 there. I'm not sure that I like that. He's not human, he's a machine. The corporate control dehumanizing Robocop I felt was, uh, there's a thing on the bonus feature here where they talk about this was the, like the natural next step. And I kind of feel like they sort of humanized them at the end of Robocop, you know? you know, what's her name, Murphy, you know, and then now it's back to Robocop. The suit looks a little bit slicker, shinier, bluer, and I believe they mentioned that in the bonus features, guys, that they kind of made it a little bit more lightweight and more kind of movable and stuff on the suit there. Um, lots of the core cast returns, which is really interesting, but Nancy Allen's demoted to a really minor role, which I did not like in this movie. The finale of this movie, spoiler guys, if you have not seen Robocop 2, I'm sorry, but Robocop brain smashing the Robocop 2 or the Kane's Robocop, Kane's robot, I thought it was really, really cool. I really liked it. But there you go, guys. That is my review of Robocop 2 on 4K Ultra HD um, available now. Jump in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Have you picked up Robocop 2 on 4K? What did you think? Um, are you going to pick it up? Let me know, guys. What did you think of Robocop as well? Robocop 2. Um, jump in and let me know. As always, guys, stay safe. And I will talk to you guys on the next video.